Hello, what is your name? My name is Karimullah Achukatna, sir. So, Karimullah. So, can I call you Karim? Yes, sir. Okay, so can I have your resume? Yes, sir. So, Karim, right? Yes, yes sir. Okay, introduce about yourself. Ashwagna, I would like to thank you for introducing myself, sir. My good name is Karimullah Achukatna, sir. I was born and brought up in Alagadda, which is located in Andhra Pradesh. Currently, I am living in Ilaradi Guda, Hyderabad. Recently, I have completed my graduation in Ananda Degree College with 85 percentage. I have good programming language skills, Python. I know front end HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I know manual testing also, database, SQL, Ikenra also, sir. Coming to my programming, coming to my project, I have done three projects, sir. It's all about user interface. First one is the all about my college website. Second one is the Magnico software website, sir. Finally, third one is the my personal portfolio. This is last personal portfolio completed recently two days back, sir. Coming to my hobbies, playing cricket, watching mythology videos, solving puzzles, I love coding also, sir. Listening music. My short term goal is to get a job where it utilize my skills in different company like yours. My long term goal is to get a good position in MNC company like yours, sir. To describe one word about my self means I'm very passionate about my work. Sir. That's all. Like, uh, you have done three projects. Yes. Okay. So, so why you have chosen all the three projects for the, the interface only? Because I love interface. Sir. Okay, you wanted it, to be. It will uh, present very uh, colorful. Okay, you wanted to like present your presentation skills in front of front end. Yes. So, are you, uh, which domain you are uh, like uh, likely to have either in front end or front end development or only with the full stack development? I choose full stack development. Both stack front end and back end. Okay, uh, it's good that you are uh, working, uh, you are making uh, some projects in interface. Okay, so I suggest you, so go with the full stack up. Okay, so go with the complete application development, it will be very helpful for you. Okay, okay so uh, out of these things, these are uh, it was first, like an introduction about yourself. Uh, Karim? Okay, so uh, you said you have technical skills in Python. Yes. So why Python? Python means it's very easy, sir, for my, my thing also. It's very programming language. So you, so you choose the Python just because it is easy for you? No sir, I am interested in Python also. Uh, interested in Python. So uh, what was your background in uh, graduation? My degree is... Degree means uh, which, which uh, MPCS. branch? MPCS. MPCS. Okay. Mass Physics Computer Science. Mass Physics and Computer Science. Okay. Good. So like, uh, so you are good in like uh, Python. So how would you rate yourself in your Python skills? Around 3.5%. 3.5%. It's a good score. Okay then. Uh, so I will have my question questionnaire session in my in Python. So are you comfortable? Yes, sir, comfortable. Sir. Okay, like uh, Karim. So first of all, answer me. So why Python is called as interpreter programming language? For then, what is interpreter first of all? First of all, sir, interpreter means it code execute line by line, sir. It is scripting language. It is scripting language, sir. Scripting language is nothing but the dynamically programming language. So interpreter means it code execute line by line. Suppose we have we write a ten line of code, it execute line by line. Suppose there are fifth line error, it and execute only four lines. It break the it break the iterations also. Execution. 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 Okay. It don't go to the fifth line down. So just because it is executing in line by line format, which is a, with the help of interpreter, it is called an interpreter programming. Right? What you want to say? Okay. So I suggest you one more uh, one uh, small suggestion. Complete your answer. Okay, okay, so you are explaining, but complete your way. You need to make a conclusion for your answers. Okay, okay then, uh, like, uh, uh, then, so can you spell me a few examples of application that was developed with the help of Python? Ekendra. Okay, Ekendra is a module, it's a special module. I wanted uh, some application, real time examples, like in the format of like any application, any apps that you are using. It was developed with the help of Python programming. Yes, game. We developed a gaming apps, sir. Gaming games, mobile apps also. So name this. Name the name of the apps. Uh, WhatsApp, Facebook, also games, PUBG, Free Fire, many games. So are actually, okay. Uh, like using of Python, so it was developed. Like Facebook is developed with the help of. Uh, it is running with the help of Python, but it's not WhatsApp. WhatsApp did not belong to Python at all. And Instagram, so Quora. Google Maps. These are the examples. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't, uh, I was, it's not the general question I was asking. Just because you said you are interested in Python, that's what I have asked this question. Okay, then um, 
So explain me about the split function. Split function. Basically, we can use two types of. First of all, user can user can take multiple option can use split function. And otherwise, we can second step also. It will split every item, every word. So in order to okay, the post split, fun split function can give also some separators also. Sir. That's what I mean. The help of split function, we can provide separators also. Sequence of data we are getting. Yes. Okay. So uh, explain me about the format function. Format. It is a special function, sir. We can use it inside a print function. When format function is used, we can set it, set type of data. Okay, there is no set table data. So with the help of oh, they are called as space holders. Okay, so with the space of holders, we can uh, so like uh, uh, activate the print statements uh, based on the user inputs. Okay, with the help of user values, we can activate the print statement. The limit of for providing output print, print specifications. Okay, so don't worry. Uh, it's good over here. Yeah, to some extent. So your explanation is good about the format function. Okay, then. Uh, Okay, then uh, first of all, uh, explain me about function. What is the function in Python? Function is a block of code which carrying lines of logic regarding part some particular functional sir. Then function with the help of def keyword we can call. And declare. Now we can declare def keyword. Then user called with the function name it can execute sir. Then user called n number of times it execute n number of times sir. Okay. In this function there are four types. User defined function, predefined function, lambda function, Recursion function coming to the user defined function. User de user defined function when the user called declared design functional design itself when it user called is known as user defined function. In this user defined function, there are two types: function without arguments, function with arguments. Function with with arguments means it is the basic structure of the function. Sir, when we can write def keyword and the name also, then we don't give the arguments. This is the with with the, with the, with the, with the arguments. In this with the arguments, there are four types. Uh, default arguments, default arguments, required arguments, la, required arguments, keyword arguments, and uh, fast last one is the arbitrary, arbitrary arguments. Coming to the arbitrary arguments, it is the special function sir. It can take n number of arguments uh, when function calling with the star keyword. Yeah. It is star keyword. Arbitrary function is the double star. It is like dictionary types. Sir. Keyword. Uh, it is like push and pull. It is comfortable actually. Coming. I was comfortable actually. So uh, you said recursion function. Yes. Okay. So explain about recursion function. In Python, there is only one function sir, to call itself again. Recursion function means it call itself itself again and again to recruit a value. In, suppose there is thousand recurs times to we can request a function or value, sir. To reduce the thousand, we can import a module which is set recursion limit. We can import yes. SYS. Yes. We can mention the n. We can mention the number also two thousand, three thousand, four thousand. We can that's recursion. Okay. What is the default recursion value for the recursion function? Thousand, sir. Thousand. Thousand. Okay. So if you wanted to make thousand more than thousand recursion, you can use import SYS system. System, and you can set the limit for the recursion. Good example. So then, like uh, explain me about uh, separator parameter. Separator parameter. I remember about the separator parameter. Yes. Okay. The separator parameter used in the print function, sir. Yes. This default. This default is the white space. Sir. We can turn. We can use the access the white access spaces. spaces it can. Using inside the print function, it can means separate the each element from line by line. So you can use it to separate the like uh, uh, some white spaces yes, instead of white spaces. You can use any separators. Yes. Okay, then good. Okay, it is okay. So like it means, but the perfect uh, you need to like uh, so deliver the perfect and exact perfect answer. Okay, so you are explaining in a format of where you can explain in a example, for example, okay, example format. Uh, format, but it is not. Uh, if you wanted to uh, spell a perfect answer, the separator parameter is used to access the white space that was uh, executed by the print statement. Whenever we are making n number of options or n number of operations with the help of 
like a comma separator. So instead of comma separator, whenever you are using a comma separator instead of each statement, it is retrieving a void space. So to access the void space and to make the customizable uh, separators, we can use the separator parameter. Good okay actually. So you said uh, whatever you said is a like a uh, it is a theoretical format. I remember it was an exponential format of programming, but it was a theoretical format. What I said is theoretical format. So good actually. Okay then, what is the difference between the looping statements and uh, condition statements? There is only one difference, sir. Looping statement and condition. First of all, condition statement is if the condition within the block of declaration is get true. It execute some particular block. I mean, the loop, if the condition within the loop declaration, it execute the particular loop. It means it iteration, deep iteration. Loops and statements with the it execute the countries conditional statement execute the particular block of code. But coming to the loops, it execute the entire loops. Entire block. Of, entire block. Entire block will loop for me. In these loops. One iteration means one time execution, sir. But coming to the condition level, one iteration, there is no iteration, sir. After the one block of execution, the entire program gets Stop. terminated. Okay? But by coming to loops, so the block of code, there is only one block of code, it will get iterated after the condition gets terminated. That's it. Okay, then, uh, Karim, uh, explain about uh, uh, like. Uh, uh, data, uh, the, uh, dictionary format of data. Dictionary format of data. Dictionary is a mutable function. Okay. It does not. Uh, key should be unique. Uh, values should be. Uh, should be. Duplicate. duplicate. Can be duplicate. Can be duplicate, sir. An empty set is there. Dictionaries are not set. In dictionary, there are keys and values. It can methods and functions also. Sir. Coming to the methods, it will access the length, string. Coming to the functions, it will keys, methods, keys, values, from keys, get, clear, copy also. Sir. We can access the values from the keys. It is okay now. Some good explanation. Okay, like uh, uh, explain or uh, differentiate between the pop and uh, remove. Pop and remove. Yes, pop and remove is usually functions. Functions. Here, pop you can use the index value. Index value can be the pop also. We can men we don't mention in number. It is the last value created. I mean to the remove. You can mention the data, means particular element or particular the value. value. It can delete the value. With the help of, okay, in pop means you can uh, remove the data with the help of index and in coming to uh, like remove. remove statement, you can use the value, value name for removal of the value from a sequence. Okay, then uh, like Karim, so I will go, uh, go with the last question. Okay, it was somewhat comfortable uh, answers you have given. All the questions I have thrown on. So I just go with my last question. Like, uh, uh, explain me about the uh, difference between while loop and for loop. While loop, for loop. It is came from the loops, looping statements. Sir. If the condition within the loop, it can be coming to the while loop. There is only one difference sir. while loop and for loop. We know the some range using for, for loops. Uh, we know the iterations also use for loops. But we don't know iterations, we don't know range. We can mean, we can use the while loops. Uh. In this while loop can efficiently work to break to continue these statements. But uh, can't efficiently work in for loops. Uh. That is the difference between break and for loop. Okay. What are these break and continue? Break and continue from the jumping statements. Sir. Jumping statements are used the iteration of the block of code or you continue the block of code. Coming to the break and continue usually for the usually for the control the iterations in loops. Control the iteration loops. Okay, okay like uh, Karim, so this, uh, I think I was done with my part. So I got a, my satisfied answer from you. But uh, one suggestion I was uh, uh, asked to give or I was not asked to give. So I thought of giving to you. 
so you are explaining your explanation is good but uh, so you are not uh, explaining to the point okay you are go always you are going with examples and all so it is good okay whenever you are explaining whenever you are asking with any question all explaining with an example is very good but before starting with the examples so you need to give a straight word uh, definition then you can go with the example because impressive but okay uh, even though you have given a good answers you have covered all the perfect correct answers only you have delivered good answers so okay it was impressive okay that it was just my uh, suggestion from my part of you other than this everything is good and uh, okay and it was done with my part and you are you having any questions for me Tell me about my performance. Okay, that's what I have uh, told about you. Okay, just uh, first of all, uh, whenever a, if there is any questions came to you, so go with a straight definition, then go with the example. So you are directly entering with an example. Okay, that's what uh, it is somewhat clumsy and all. Okay, whenever you are explaining with an in a definition, so you will have a structure of the explanation. Then you can after the definition, if you are go with the example means, you will, you will have a clear path of structure. Otherwise, your your words or your statements will be somewhat will not be won't be in a clumsy format. Okay, so that's what one suggestion I, uh, I wanted to give for you. And otherwise, everything is good. Okay, okay, all the best, Karim. So we'll update you. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day.